Sadi Cobb and welcome to Phuket Extra. Today is Monday, July 24th and I'm Chris Housen with the news you need to know. Phuket police are on the hunt for a suspect who broke into a Chalong home and stole 25,000 baht from a Russian couple. The landlord of the property handed over CCTV footage to local police where you can see a young man hopping over the fence surrounding the home, leaving several minutes later. The Russian tenants later reported that they were missing 25,000 baht that was sitting in the pockets of a pair of pants within the property. The owner of the unit has said she brought this case forward to warn people of the quote, any more thieves in Chelong. As many local employers struggle to understand new regulations set on migrant workers, Phuket authorities are planning to organize a seminar on the issue to settle the concerns of many. During a meeting on the issue last Friday, July the 21st, the governor of Phuket acknowledged the confusion many are feeling in lieu of the new, stricter regulations. The Emergency Migrant Worker Registration Center will also be opened at the Phuket Employment Office from next Monday, July 24th till August the 7th to help ease the transition. Today marked a big day for the Soy Dog Foundation here in Phuket as they received an important gift from a very special visitor. The King's representative and delegation, including the Governor of Phuket, attended a special meeting at the organization's headquarters to donate 20 bags of dog food in the name of the King. This is all part of a broader countrywide initiative from the king as an outreach to the stray dogs of the kingdom. During the visit, Tawachai Sikiao, an Air Force General as well as the governor of Phuket, toured the facilities and visited the dogs and employees of the shelter. Stay tuned, Phuket Extra will be right back. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A total of 7.3 million baht in insurance payouts has been made to the family of two Chinese tourists killed in the bus crash on Patong Hill earlier this month. Security General of the Office of Insurance Committee has said, we're very sorry for the family of the dead and injured, and we can confirm we are helping them as much as we can. And added that it's very important for tour companies to have proper insurance that has not expired. August 3rd has been set as the final deadline for Patong's tuk-tuk and taxi drivers to vacate beachside parking spots, opening them up to the public. Following much pushback from the drivers over the past month, the army has announced it will no longer suspend the new regulations. The initial plan slashed the number of taxi ranks in Patong from 84 to just 21. The final number is yet to be determined by the provincial office. A British teacher and two teenage passengers were lucky to escape a dangerous car wreck this weekend when their vehicle flipped over while driving on a back road in Katu. The driver has been identified as Christopher Marcus John Green, a 55-year-old British national working as a teacher at one of Phuket's international schools. Police did not disclose the names of the teenagers accompanying Mr. Green in his vehicle. Mr. Green allegedly lost control of the vehicle while making a sharp turn on the road behind Lock Palm Golf Club. No word yet on any charges he may be facing. And finally, tomorrow marks the return of one of Phuket's favorite stamp collectors, Jessica Pauline Mustanza, or JP as he's affectionately known. Following a several week tour of Philately Circuit in North America, he will be back in action from tomorrow morning. All of us here at Phuket Extra anxiously await his return. Well, that's it from Phuket Extra today. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow.